Hello, and welcome back to our game shelves. Today, we're going to talk OG Xbox. Let's do it. So I don't have a ton of experience with this console. We started collecting for it maybe like two, three years ago, and we were just trying to get uh, whatever was cheap and whatever games that uh, seemed interesting at the time. And you know, of course, the exclusives if we could. So I'm just gonna start at the top here and then uh, just uh, one by one go through the collection here that we have, and you'll get like a bonus uh, plastic sleeve <laughs> ASMR because I didn't take them all out of the plastic, but um, I also have a stack on the side here. I'll show at the end, there's kind of the, the overstock in a sense that I didn't have a chance to put on the shelves because we have kind of limited space in the middle here but I try to utilize as best as I could so uh, first game is Azuric uh, Rise of Parathia this uh, looks like it's a uh, Xbox exclusive so there's that one and then we have Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance we still need to get uh, Dark Alliance 2 Seems to be every time we come across Dark Alliance 2, it's either in uh, really poor shape or it's just uh, expensive. So we just haven't been able to get it yet. And we have Beyond Good and Evil. I know this has been HD remastered a couple of times now. So I think a lot of people are waiting for the uh, sequel. I have not played it yet though. And then we have Black. It is a game that people speak very highly of. I've only done, uh, played a little bit of this game. It seems pretty fun, actually. And we have uh, Blood Wake, another Xbox exclusive. I think this looks like it's like a boat racing game. So there's that one. And we have Brute Force, also another Xbox exclusive. And then we have... Uh, Cell Damage. I know this one I own digitally on Xbox One, so I'll probably play it there rather than do it on the Xbox, but this is also a racing game. And then we have Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. This is an Xbox exclusive as well. And uh, you can get this as part of the 360 bundle with uh, Assault on Dark Athena, so I'll probably play it there. And here's a pretty recent addition to the Xbox collection is Cold Fear. So this is a survival horror game. And uh, hopefully that'll be the start of many more survival horror games on, on the Xbox. And then we have Dead or Alive uh, Extreme Beach Volleyball. Also an Xbox exclusive. Uh, we covered that in a different video. We have the sequel on Xbox 360. And then we have Destroy All Humans. So I played, uh, played a little bit of this one on Xbox One. Destroy All Humans 2. And then Deus Ex Invisible War. Really like the cover on this one. And I like the Deus Ex games. We have Doom 3. I have not played through Doom 3 fully. Uh, I played it on PC back in the day, but my computer was not good enough. And I just never went back to it. It's one of those weird things, but um, I still want to play this game. And then we have uh, Dreamfall, The Longest Journey. And then Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind. I think this is an exclusive on the Xbox. I'm not 100% sure, but, but I know that Bethesda at the time were very uh, had a good relationship with Xbox. So uh, here's Fable. This is an exclusive, very first one. And actually, this one is sealed. Found this for a really good deal years ago, and I never opened it because uh, I'm playing Fable Anniversary on 360. So uh, you never saw a reason to open it. So that's pretty cool. It's hard to come by sealed Xbox games, actually. And here's uh, Far Cry Instincts. Also only on Xbox, it says. And I'm not sure if some of these were timed exclusives, but uh, but at least uh, that is what it says on there. Uh, Grab by the Ghoulies, only on Xbox as well. 
And then we have Grand Theft Auto 3, the Xbox collection. So I think this came in a sleeve and the I took I took it out of the sleeve because it was pretty beat up, so I just kind of had them individually on the shelf here. And we have Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I really like this game. I played this one a long time ago. A uh, really fun, uh, <laughs> fun game. And then we have uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I have not played this through all the way. I've played uh, a little bit. And then we have Gun Valkyrie. And then lastly here on the top shelf, we have Half-Life. Half-Life 2, sorry. Half-Life 2. So, classic. All right, I'm going to move down to shelf number two here. Right, moving on to shelf number two here. Start off with heavy hitters here. So we have Halo Combat Evolved. Really good game. Obviously, it's really what solidified xbox right was the halo series played that one a lot on pc actually first and then i played it on xbox and then uh here's halo 2 also really good really fun in co-op and then uh one of my favorite series here i played this on playstation actually oddly enough and pc and then but i still had to have it on xbox and that's uh, hitman 2 silent assassin really really good games uh, it wasn't really until, yeah, we'll see that a little bit later here, but uh, and we have Hitman Contracts. This was part of like a HD collection on uh, Xbox 360 as well. And then we have Hulk. We're still looking for the other Hulk game. I think it's called like Ultimate Destruction or something like that. So, but uh, there's that one. And then we have uh, Indigo Prophecy or Fahrenheit. I think it's called just Fahrenheit. So this one is an uh, interesting kind of uh, murder mystery. Yeah, I remember playing this one. And then we have uh, Jade Empire, also an Xbox exclusive. I think this is by uh, BioWare. Yeah, so I never played this though, but seems pretty cool. And then we have uh, Kingdom Under Fire, The Crusaders. This is also an Xbox exclusive. And then Kingdom Under Fire Heroes, also another exclusive. Then uh, a game that I played a lot on PC actually, Mafia. And I know they remastered this recently for newer consoles. I have not played it yet, but, uh, but this uh, was good. Good little change from you know, if you played Grand Theft Auto at the time, you had the open world mafia game. It was, it was a really good game. And then one of my all-time favorites, Max Payne. Also, highly recommended if you've not played the older Max Payne games. And here's uh, Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. This one is a little bit shorter than the first one, but still really good. I love the cutscenes. Uh, you know, it just kind of has that noir feel to it, right? So it's uh, really awesome games. Then we have uh, Mech Assault. I've heard people talk about wanting to uh, bring back these games or at least do a remaster. I've not played these though, but uh, here's and here's the sequel, Mech Assault 2 Lone Wolf. There's that one. And then we have uh, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. And then Mist 4 Revelation, another game I played a lot on PC. Not this particular one, but the Mist series. And then we have Ninja Gaiden, which is also exclusive. They were later remastered on PlayStation as well, but they first came out on Xbox. And here is Ninja Gaiden Black. Remember when we bought these? They were actually pretty expensive, but these have come down in price a lot now. And here is a weird one that uh, we found in Japan, actually. It's NUDE. So it stands for Natural Ultimate Digital Experiment. And it's, it was one of those games that I was actually actively looking for when we were in Tokyo. So this is uh, exclusive to Japan. So if you ever see this one, uh, definitely 
definitely worth picking up if you if you see it. And the next one is Odd World Munch's Odyssey, also Xbox exclusive. And then we have Odd World Stranger's Wrath. This one was recently remastered or remade for newer consoles. Also only on Xbox. And then we have two heavy hitters here that we recently acquired actually by chance. Uh, first one here is Otogi Myth of Demons. So this I think is a From Software game. I have not played them but from looking at footage it's uh, very Souls-like or at least it's uh, kind of in that same vein. Also exclusive. And then the one that is the most expensive of the two, Otogi 2. Immortal Warriors. Again, same thing, but we put them in like extra protective sleeves here, I guess, because we want to make sure we preserve those two. All right, let's move on to the final shelf here. All right, starting off on the final shelf here at the bottom, we have uh, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. We have Prince of Persia, The Warrior Within. And Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. And a Project Gotham Racing. We have Project Gotham Racing 2, both of them, Xbox exclusives. Before the Forza series, or Forza, I guess they want you to say now. And then we have Red Dead Revolver. I have not played this yet. I love Red Dead Redemption. So I definitely would like to play this someday. And then we have uh, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, Tides of War. Yeah, Wolfenstein is a great series as well. The one that started the first person shooter. Not this game, but the series. And then we have a double pack here. The Sega GT 2002 and then we have Jet Set Radio Future which uh, it's a cool little double pack here we would like to get the Jet Set Radio uh, the individual copy of it but that one is pretty expensive at this point so let's hope that goes down in price and then we have uh, Shenmue 2 also only on Xbox which is kind of interesting. This one has like, I haven't played this game, but, uh, or any other game in the series, but kind of tempting to try to get the Dreamcast version of the first one. And then I guess the third one only came out on PlayStation. So yeah, it's kind of a weird history with that series. Uh, so I heard it was a very expensive game to make or expensive series. And here we have uh, another Japanese exclusive. This is Shin Megami Tensei 9. So it looks like the whole entire cover here is all in Japanese. So that was another one just like the nude game we found in Japan. Also was on the hunt for that one. So can't play it though on the North American consoles and we don't have a Japanese Xbox, but maybe someday. And we have uh, Sniper Elite, the first one. Probably a game that most people really didn't play, but I, I really enjoy the newer Sniper Elite games. I did try this one a little bit, and uh, yeah, it's very... It, you can recognize that it is Sniper Elite, but it's very different. You can tell that they uh, improved a lot on uh, on the newer ones. And here is Splinter Cell. I think this was an exclusive. Uh, Splinter Cell series have always kind of... Not always, but most of them have been exclusive to Xbox, oddly enough. So... Um, I don't know what the reason for that is, but uh, that's where I played it, and I love playing co-op in those games. And here, Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. I think this was my first uh, Splinter Cell game. Really fun in co-op. Awesome game. And then there's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. And we have uh, SSX3. I know a lot of people are big fans of this EA Big series. And then we have SSX Tricky. And then 
their Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. A lot of people's favorite RPG. I think this is also Bioware, right? So, yep. I think I played that one on PC, but um, yeah, long time ago at least. And then we have Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. That's cool that yeah, we made an effort into getting these. Uh, try to get at least uh, everything in a series here that we enjoy. And then we have uh, Still Life. Here's Thief Deadly Shadows. Another stealth game. And we have The Thing. Really big fan of the movie. This, I think, is one of the best horror films of all time. And I think I saw somewhere that they're remaking this, or they're doing a new Thing game. So I'm excited about that one. And we have uh, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. We're still missing... There's, I think there's two and three, actually, on Xbox. So I'm looking to get those. And we have Voodoo Vince, only on Xbox. They remastered this for Xbox One. But uh, good to have this one in the collection. And then lastly on the shelf here, we have 13. Which I know a lot of people speak highly of this one. I played the, <laughs> the sort of remake on Xbox. Uh, Xbox One or Series X. And uh, it wasn't as good as I had hoped, but uh, people say that the original is better. But yeah, let me uh, grab the stack on the side here and I'll go through those as well. So this uh, stack right here is just going to be sort of what's overstock in the collection until we can find more room, get some more shelves and uh, set us up nicely for a future game room. But it's still some good games in here too. It doesn't mean that they're bad games just because they didn't make it on the shelves. It just ran out of room. And the first game we have here is uh, Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind, Game of the Year Edition. And this is a pretty recent acquisition. And then we have Doom 3, Resurrection of Evil. I think this is an expansion to Doom 3. I'm not 100% sure, but I do think they sold this separately. And then we have an uh, all-time classic here. <laughs> Circus Maximus Chariot Wars. I think this was just one of those hand-me-down titles that we got in the collection. It looks like Ben-Hur or something like that. And then we have a Full Spectrum Warrior. I think this is by Pandemic Studios, which made a lot of like those open world destruction games back then. And then we have uh, Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. And uh, this is sealed as well. So we found that just really cheap um, at some point. Don't have the other Lord of the Rings games, but uh, <laughs> that's, that's that one. Probably should get the other ones. I don't know what type of games they are, but most likely some RPG hack and slash type game. And then we have True Crime Streets of LA. And there's Hitman Blood Money. I played this on the 360. This game is really good. Definitely worth uh, checking out. And then we have uh, Splinter Cell Double Agent. Same thing, I played this on the 360. So I just, for some reason, my favorite series, I just wanted to have the, the Xbox variants as well. I kind of held off on it for the longest time, but then I realized they're actually pretty cheap. So why not just grab them? And then we have Fable. Limited edition bonus DVD. Again, kind of a weird, I don't know, it says GameStop. You know, it's only on Xbox. So, I mean, I have not looked at this one at all, but <laughs> there's there's that one at least. And then we have uh, James Bond 007 Agent Under Fire. It's the only James Bond game we have. I thought about collecting the rest of them, so we'll see. We'll see if I even care. If I find them for a good price, then sure. But, you know, again, this was a game that picked up for pretty cheap. And then we have Pariah. I think this is a kind of, I would say this more like a Halo clone. I'm not, yeah, sort of. I mean, I remember liking this though when I played it. So there's that one. And we have uh, Broken Sword, the Sleeping Dragon. I think it's like a point and click adventure game. Yeah, I like those games. And then lastly, another Japanese exclusive here. Muzzle Flash uh, does not look like a very good game, but uh, I had to have it since it was a Japanese exclusive. So that is pretty cool. 
So that was a glimpse into our original Xbox collection. If you want to see our full collection, check out this video right here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.